Okay guys, Ray Waldo here, the Bishop of Technology, and today we're comparing uh, tablet, Android tablets. And uh, on the top here, this is uh, a 10-inch Android. This happens to be the uh, ViewSonic G-Tab 10.1-inch. This is the Nook tablet. This is the Android, I mean the uh, uh, Kindle Fire. And of course, this is the Nexus 7. Now, of course, you get a lot more real estate on a 10-inch, but there's also a lot more weight there, and it's just unhandy to hold. You know, it takes two hands, whereas with one of these 7 inches, you can hold it in one hand quite comfortably. This is my day-to-day -day use here. This is the one that I've been using. Of course, uh, my Nexus 7 has come out, and i got to tell you, it is cool. Uh, it will be my, my daily use now. This is my wife's Kindle Fire. And again, it, they're all very comfortable here. So we're going to set the 10-inch out of the way and uh, uh, focus on the, uh, the three 7-inches. And so uh, the first thing is that there's, uh, unfortunately, there's just a little bit less uh, display space on the Nexus 7. If you notice, uh, the screen comes up to top here, and it's a little lower here and it's a little higher here. So uh, these two, actually, and uh, it's not quite lined up there, uh, the Nexus 7 doesn't have quite as much display space as the, uh, the two competitors. I, I hard, hardly call them competitors now because there's just so much more functionality. Uh, the screen displays, let me see if I can get them up here where you can see the displays uh, appropriately. Um, well, I may have to back out a little bit. Let's see. Get you a little bit more space. Okay. And uh, the three displays are all pretty good, but there really isn't much comparison with the uh, with the Nexus. The Nexus is just so much prettier. By the way, uh, the the Nexus and the Kindle Fire are both at 80% brightness. The uh, Nook tablet is running at 100% brightness. And it still looks a little washed out uh, as compared to the other two. And among these two, uh, they're both pretty clear, except that the colors are so much more brilliant and bright and uh, clear on the Nexus. Uh, so. And as far as display then, I'd have to rate them uh, Nexus number one, Kindle Fire number two, and uh, the Nook tablet as number three. Um, as far as functionality, there's just no comparison. I'm, I'll deal with functionality in a, low, in a later issue, but uh, uh, one of the really cool things is, is the widgets on the uh, Jelly Bean. And, uh, you know, if you want to see videos or what, I mean, uh, photographs or whatever. It, it's just so quick and so easy to use. Everything just flows so quickly. Uh, <clears throat> and if you wanted to uh, view a book or a video or whatever, anything, and uh, all the Google stuff is, is set up on a, uh, a folder here. These are really called folders. Or if you want to go to Chrome directly, then Chrome is, is just immediate almost. So. Uh, runs really really fast and um, the Kindle Fire is uh, nice but uh, it just doesn't uh, doesn't really have quite as much of the speed. Now these are both on the same uh, network and um, so they both got a hundred percent on my 18 meg network. I haven't had the Nexus long enough to tell about the battery. Uh, some people have said they thought the battery might be going down a little more quickly than it should. So far my experience, just a uh, quick experience, I just got it last night, and my quick experience shows that it seems to be going down pretty fast. It's not nearly as, as uh, potent as the uh, advertised claims were maybe because I've been running the uh, some extra applications I've been running the GPS and uh, also I'm using uh, 
uh, the uh, Groove IP, which gives me telephone capability. Uh, as long as I'm in Wi-Fi, I can actually have a full telephone here. I haven't checked it out and actually talked on it. Sometimes with this application, it's downloadable off of the internet. I mean, off of the web uh, uh, PlayStation uh, Play Store. But you may have to do some some uh, fiddling with the settings to get it to work uh, exactly right with a tablet. It's made for voice over IP. Uh, mobile voice over IP so that you can use uh, unlimited voice for free as long as you have Wi-Fi access. It's pretty cool. Well anyway, I'll check it out and let you know later. Alright, well that's a quick review, a comparison of the uh, four tablets that I have here at my home. I actually have a Nook Color but it's broken and uh, have a couple of other G-Tabs but they're broken. So uh, that's, uh, that's what we have right here and right now, and uh, that's the comparison. So check raywaldo.com, uh, the Bishop Technology, get more information there.